Hi guys, Britain, like many European countries, benefited from migrant labour due to the fact that foreign workers would do jobs that locals either couldn't or wouldn't do. In the past, farmers could rely somewhat on students and young people in the area to do some of the picking of fruit and vegetables during the summer or other seasons. This began to change as the work became less attractive to citizens, but farmers seeing bigger and bigger demand needed labour, so they would reach out to other countries. This type of work was attractive to people in poorer countries in Europe. The men, and it was usually the men, saw this as an opportunity to move to Britain, for example, live on site for a few months, earn good wages and send the money or take the money home with them. As foreign workers got better trained on the job, their pay increased. So this was never an issue of people coming to Britain and driving down wages. Here Liz Webster, the chair of Save British Food, explains how post-Brexit fewer regulations will actually drive down wages. But what about the argument that so much foreign labour undercut British wages, Liz? Well, I, I think that's a, it, I think it's a trope. I mean, I don't think it's true. Uh, there's always we always had a minimum wage, and um, you know I don't believe that, that 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 was actually the case that foreign workers were undercutting British workers. Of course, now since Brexit, um, it, you know it is possible probably for those things to happen, particularly if if the, this government do go through with changing um, the employment regulations and diverging from Europe. So, uh, so you know, it's one of those things which is a powerful argument at the time in a campaign when we were hoping to improve on life, I suppose, in 2016. But actually, now that we're in the weeds of Brexit, what we're learning is that, uh, um, that there are no improvements or that I've managed to find. So, so, you know, this is where we are. And it is now becoming urgent um, and serious because it, you know, food is increasing in price so much, um, and also with climate change and with the war in Ukraine and COVID, as we've discussed, food is actually contracting globally, uh, and it's really, you know, bringing problems for us in Britain more so than our European counterparts because of Brexit. Can I bring you in? There are two things to talk about here. First of all, there's the idea that the British government are trying, are pushing for fewer regulations to protect workers, especially foreign workers. So there's this problem. Uh, and there's also the problem that whatever regulations there are, there isn't the staff to enforce them. So the Tories are cutting left, right and centre, cutting public services, cutting uh, the civil service, so you don't have the staff necessary to carry out checks on sites whether foreign workers are being exploited or not. And then you also have the regulations that are coming in that the Brexiteers are pushing to make it easier for companies and employers to, uh, to take advantage of foreign workers or workers in general. So instead of a high, wa a high wage, high skilled economy, it's a race to the bottom. But that's what Brexit was always about. Racism and xenophobia for the voters and disaster capitalism for the donors, for the rich class, the people who backed Brexit, the ones who are, re the ones who are reaping the benefits. Ordinary people are not benefiting. They're seeing higher food prices. They're seeing wage stagnation. But the ones who you know, put the money uh, behind Brexit, they're the ones who are going to benefit. And it's, it's not going to get better until you have a, a, uh, an appeal, a repealing of these laws, of these regulations, and you have uh, a mass hiring of civil servants to carry out the checks on uh, sites in businesses or whatever to make sure that the regulations are enforced. So it was one thing is having the regulations, another is having the workforce they are making sure that the regulations are enforced. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think about all of this? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.